Welcome, my friends, to our new video. Today, we will explain how to create a children's alphabet book using Canva. We'll create pages like this example. Here on this page, I've started with the letter A, and then I added several useful and entertaining exercises for children to learn. We will divide the page into four sections. In the upper section, we'll put the name of the letter and some decorations. In the second section, we'll add three pictures with three words that begin with the same letter. In the third section, We'll include a letter writing training exercise. In the last section, we'll provide three new shapes for coloring. Now, let's begin by opening the Canva website and clicking on Create a Design. Search for A4 size and choose the appropriate size. Be sure to review any instructions or conditions if you plan to publish the book on different platforms like Amazon. Here on my channel, I focus on design and I have no experience in publishing books on different platforms. As you can see, I previously designed the cover page and the letter A page. Now let's start designing the letter B page. The first thing we'll do is add the letter B at the top. Click on the text section on the left, then click on Add a Heading. Type the letter B, capitalize it, and move it to the top of the page. Adjust the font size and color. Next to the capital B, add the small b. Now, let's add three pictures and three words that start with the letter B. We'll use ChatGPT for this task. I've asked ChatGPT before to give me five words that begin with the letter A, and now I will ask ChatGPT to give me five words that begin with the letter B. Next, we'll create images using the Artificial Intelligence Image Generator in Canva. Go to the Apps section below and click on Magic Media. Write the first word, which is bear. Then choose a playful style and click on Generate Image and choose the best bear picture. Now let's go to the Elements section and scroll down to find the Frames section. Choose a circular shape and place the bare image inside the frame. Now add the word bare below the photo and use the font called KG Primary Penmanship. and make the first letter pink similar to the letter B color. Repeat the same steps for the other two images, the ball and the butterfly. In the same way, copy the word, then let the image generator in Canva create an image for you. Moving on to the third section of the page, let's add an exercise to practice writing the letter B. Add new text and type the letter B in both capital and small letters. Change the font type to KG Primary Dots Lined. Canva provides this type of font suitable for teaching children to write. As you can see now, repeat the letter B more than once. Also press the space button and the length of the line will increase while it is empty so that the child can practice writing the letter. Now let's add shapes for coloring in the last section of the page. Add the letter B at the bottom. Click on the effects option at the top, then choose hollow. In this way we made the letter B empty on the inside so that the child can color it. Then add an image of a banana. If the image generator doesn't create good images, consider using ready-made images from Canva's Elements section. 
to remove the background from the banana image. Click on Edit Image and choose BG Remover. Then follow with me the steps to remove colors from the image. Click on the Photogenic option. Scroll down and choose Classic. Finally, increase the contrast value to 100. You can also change the brightness value as you see fit for the image. As you can see now, the colors have been successfully removed from the image. Finally, add the word banana below the image. The last word remaining is a book. Unfortunately, I could not get a good photo from the image generator, so I went to the Elements section, then searched for an image of a book in Canva, then added it to my design. Finally, to add decorations to the page, search in the Elements section for Doodle. Then browse the Graphics section and you will find here many wonderful shapes that you can add to the page. We're almost done with the design. Just continue creating the rest of the pages in the same way. Now I will complete more pages and get back to you. As you can see, I have completed some pages for the book. To download the book, click on Share Above, then click on the Download button. Now click on the Download button again. The book will be downloaded in PDF format. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.